As the pendulum swings back and forth, the potential energy of the hanging mass changes to kinetic energy and back again to potential. In this presentation, we'll learn about the energy changes that occur in a pendulum moving without friction. The law of conservation of energy tells us that when no work is done on or by a system, its total energy will remain the same. A swinging pendulum without friction changes from potential to kinetic energy, but the total energy remains the same. If the potential energy at A is 10 joules and the kinetic energy is 0 joules, what is the potential and kinetic energy at B and D? When the pendulum bob reaches the bottom, the pendulum's height is 0, there's no potential energy, and it's all kinetic energy. When the pendulum reaches the other side at point D, it's at the maximum height, there's no more kinetic energy, and it's all potential energy. If the potential energy at C is 3 joules, what's the kinetic energy at C? Since there is no friction on this pendulum when the potential energy is 3 joules, then the kinetic energy has to be 7 joules for the pendulum to maintain a total energy of 10 joules. Now let's look at a pendulum with friction. If the work against friction as the pendulum moves from A to B is 1.5 joules, what are the kinetic and potential energies of the pendulum at the bottom of its swing? The kinetic energy at the bottom of the swing is 8.5 joules, and the potential energy is zero. It's 8.5 joules because 10 joules minus 1.5 is 8.5. For all pendulums, the potential energy is maximum at the extremes, in this case A and D, and the kinetic energy is maximum at the bottom, letter B. The potential energy of a pendulum at the extremes equals the kinetic energy of the pendulum at the bottom. A 1 kilogram pendulum swings to a height of 0 0.20 meters above its lowest point. What's the kinetic energy of the pendulum at its lowest point? The kinetic energy at the lowest point equals the potential energy at the highest point. The potential energy at A equals the kinetic energy at B. When we plug the mass of 1 kilogram and the height of 0.22 meters into the equation P equals mgh, we get a potential energy of 1.96 joules. When we round the answer to two significant digits, we get 2 joules or 2.0 joules, that is. A pendulum is pulled to the side and released. Which plot of displacement versus potential energy is correct? Since the potential energy of a pendulum is greatest at the ends of the swing, the answer is choice 4. A 5-kilogram cart is at the foot of a hill that's 10 meters high. For, a cart, for the cart to reach the top of the hill, what is the minimum kinetic energy of the cart? in the position shown. The car's kinetic energy at the bottom will completely turn into potential energy at the top of the hill, which will cause the car to stop, so we can use the potential energy equation to find the minimum kinetic energy. Plugging in the mass and the height, we found out the minimum kinetic energy is 490 joules, because the potential energy at the top of the hill is 490 joules. Let's review what we've learned about the energy changes in a pendulum. When friction is negligible, the total energy of a pendulum does not change. The potential energy of a pendulum is greatest at the ends, where the kinetic energy is zero. At the bottom of a pendulum swing, the potential energy is zero, and the kinetic energy is at its maximum. As a pendulum swings back and forth, the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy and back again to potential. This is the end of my presentation.